Hello there everybody, my name is Coach Shadow Dogs the Born Book Buff Theme Park News and welcome to another Halloween update. Now this is from Tully's Film Shottoberfest 2019 and following into Shottoberfest 2020 we're going to be talking about what maze, this brand new maze that's been listed on the website could be for 2020 this year. It's their 11th brand new haunt so it's looking likely that it won't be replacing anything. Uh, so. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a future video. Please share with your friends, family, and on social media. And also make sure you uh, get your questions in for the subscriber Q&A. 1,500 subs. When we hit it, we'll release the q and We'll film the Q&A and we'll release it in a couple of weeks' time uh, after we hit that milestone. Uh, make sure you get your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question in the comment section below. Uh, when we hit that milestone, we'll get Instagram started as well with the questions. And for now, let's get into this video. So, this is from Tully's Farms October 1st, 2020. And this is on their brand new haunt uh, they've been advertising on the website, their 11th brand new haunt, their brand new haunt for 2020. Uh, and basically, we're gonna be sort of looking at the current maze lineup from 2019 and coming up with potential themes for the brand new maze. Now, let's go on about the lineup. So I'm gonna put the graphic for a brand new haunt on your screen now. Found every Dorsey, and that, my friends, is all you're going to see for the first couple of minutes of this video. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, looking through the current maze lineup, uh, the Reckoning, uh, which is like the pirate themed maze uh, with a scare factor of eight, Wasteland Penitentiary uh, with a scare factor of nine. That's like your, uh, your sort of wasteland, you know, you sort of um, kind of like a gr like a grimy dirty sort of warrior rebel type maze I guess. Uh, you got Twisted Clowns with a scare factor of 8, obviously that's a clown maze. The Village Coven of 13 or Coven of 13, however you like to pronounce that uh, with a scare factor of 9, that's like your, your sort of uh, cult village I guess. Uh, the Chop Shop, scare factor of 9, that's like your it's kind of like your car garage, like your haunted car garage kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, the cellar, imprisoned with a scare factor of nine. Obviously, that's your imprisoned type maze. Uh, obviously, VIXI. Um, I don't do Roman numerals. <laughs> with a scare factor of eight, that's like your, your sort of hanging, your blindfold maze kind of thing. You got the creepy cottage with a scare factor of six. Uh, that's the sort of, sort of the weakest in terms of scares uh, for that one. So it's, like, it's walking around the haunted cottage. Uh, you've got Horrorwood Haunted Hayride, or just Haunted Hayride on the website, Scare Factor 7, which uh, you track to journey with live actors, and of course you've got the show Circus of Horrors, and of course mentioned down here is the new haunt, the brand new for 2020. So looking at all of them then, I developed at least three types, uh, uh, well three main themes that I want to see for this brand new maze. The first of which is a doll's house. Now, I think they could do a really cool job with this. I think they could do a really creepy looking job with this. I think that, uh, you know, have like actors and actresses sort of dressed in like dolls costumes and sort of attacking people with, uh, you can you can even have like a, a bunny, ra uh, you, you've seen the Purge, you've seen one of the, the, you've seen all the Purge films. You remember that Purge film when you've got the, uh, the sort of, you know, you've got the, the masked girl and then you've got the, the massive teddy bear looking girl. Uh, with like chainsaws or saws trying to saw the do door down. Imagine a massive huddly, cuddly teddy bear costume covered in blood with a cha chasing you with a chainsaw at the end. That would be brilliant. Um, and sort of all the dolls come into life. Um, that would be creepy. It would be like a, if I was predicting a scare factor for a doll's house themed maze, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to predict the three types that I want to see for this new maze and also the scare facts. That's why I mentioned the scare facts for all the mazes. Um, for a doll's house, I'd like to see a scare factor of either eight or nine. Now, the reason I say that is because I think an extremely scary doll's house themed maze would be fantastic. Uh, now, the second theme is a mental asylum. Now, we've done, we've got the cellar imprisoned, which is like your prisoner type thing. Uh, you've got the creepy cottage, which is like walking around a creepy cottage. But you're not really walking around a mental asylum. Uh, now, this could be anything from... You look at obviously it's not D, obviously DC DC University is not Toys Farm, but you look at Arkham Asylum and you see the little cell and you've got people in like straight jackets and things like that and they're sort of tied together and they're having to sort of you know act without having to use their hands. 
Uh, any of you who've seen Dance Mums will have seen the season 8 dance where I think it was Liliana was dancing without any hands and sort of got a perfect score. That, you know, that kind of thing, like the straight jacket. I'd like to see some acting like that with the straight jacket and not using their hands but using the rest of their body. That would be a real actor challenge. Obviously, me being an actor myself, I know how much of a challenge that would be. Uh, so I'd give him props for that as an actor. I'd give him, you know, fair praise for that. Uh, so if there was to be a mental asylum themed maze, I think the scare factor, again, I think we're looking at an 8 or 9, possibly even the first 10 out of 10 scare factor uh, maze for Tully's Farm. Um, and again, this is just due to the fact of the theme and the p fact that they could make it extra scary. Now, the third and final thing was kind of inspired by a maze that I did last year at York Maze Hallow Scream, and that is um, the brand new maze, really, uh, the Singularity. Uh, now, this was like a human hybrid kind of thing, like building the perfect human being or the perfect creation called the Singularity and sort of experiments going wrong and that like half robot kind of thing. I think toys could pull something like that off, you know, like a sci-fi experiment gone wrong. And I think there's, you look at Singularity, obviously if you've seen the, uh, what I did at Hallow Tween, I did like a walkthrough of the maze without any of the live actors. So again, I said this in the past, I want to do some filming inside the mazes for the main Hallow screen for 2020 for their anniversary, for their 10th year uh, anniversary. So uh, yeah, very excited about that, uh, if it goes ahead. Um, but you look at what they did, you, you sort of look at what I filmed in the maze, and you sort of look at the different elements like the plushy cushion going down, uh, the sort of technical wirings and the, the projections, the lasers going around the rooms. So you look at that and you sort of think toys could do something like that. So I think for a sci-fi maze, I think we're looking at a scare factor of a six or seven because I think Singularity wasn't really about the scares for me. I think that uh, during Hallow's Scream, I think it was mainly due to the theming and the sort of, um, you know, like the screens and the sort of technical effects. So uh, hopefully with Singularity, if it comes back this year, uh, hopefully they sort of fix all that and sort of bring more um, you know scares into it bring more scare actors leave less gaps I guess so uh, hoping for the best with that but I think a sci-fi maze with a scare factor of six or seven would be perfect for toys so Doll's House, Mental Asylum and Sci-Fi those are my three choices with my scare ratings uh, for each out of ten but what do you think the new maze is going to be? Please comment down below your themes, possible names you might have. I may do it if there's loads of things, if there's loads of like ideas in that, I may do a bumper video uh, where I sort of talk about your uh, themes and ideas, give you a shout out as well. Uh, so if you want to see that, please comment down below and comment down below your names and themes as well as, uh, obviously I'll see your YouTube name, but if you want to be shouted out as something different, then again, just write it in the comment section below with your, your names and theme suggestions. Uh, not really competition, just sort of sharing your ideas. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this Halloween update from Toys Farm October 1st, 2020. Obviously, we're going to be excited to see what they're going to announce. Uh, so please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the okay, bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family, and on social media. And make sure you also, please, please, please get your questions in for the subscriber Q&A. For the 1,500 subscriber Q&A, make sure you use hashtag question before or after your question. And for now, guys, keep living the coast alive, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day. Yeah. <laughs>